guys? It's Jason from Naoko Ball Pythons. Um, we got around doing another morph spotlight, but this one isn't just us showing animals of a particular morph. We're talking about the pastel gene and how to use it, how we're using it to not have those ugly adult animals. So let's have a look. Stay tuned. When we started the channel, uh, me and my wife would have, or be me talking to my wife, but all different <laughs> observations I make and different things happening with the collection. Um, and it was her idea to say, this could be a channel. And I should be, what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, what I'm observing, I should be putting it out there and sharing the information. So what actually happened was we were having one of those conversations and I was talking about the pastel gene and, and how it kind of has a bad rap. And it's I'm hearing a lot of newer people in the hobby saying how pastel gene, it just browns out animals and it in adult animals, it ruins combos. And in some combos, this is true. Other combos, not so much. So what you're going to see is pretty much that one of those conversations I'm having with my wife and she just grabbed a camera and recorded what I was seeing and what I was showing her so let us know how this how this works out maybe we'll start recording more random conversations if you guys like the video if you don't like the video it might be the last time we do it but who knows but here we go this is our morph spotlight on the pastel G. so here's what I was saying to you um, here you have a lithium, so that's a cinnamon butter in this case, could be less or could be butter, in this case it's, it's butter, and here you have a cinnamon lesser pasta. So in this case, when the animals get big, adding pastel, in my opinion, kind of made the animal look worse. And I mean, this is... This female is a more powerful, more powerful genetically, but visually, the third gene, adding pastel, didn't do anything to make the animal look better. Alright, let me take them out. Okay, so here, um, again, uh, you're looking at a NG pastel, possible yellow belly. And again, pastel, although genetically the animal's nice, pastel all that browning that's coming from the pastel gene um, so when they grow up depending on the combination pastel isn't making the animal look any better you know what I mean but and you're wondering why I had you pull out the camera and record this conversation but um, it's because this is the reputation that pastel has and people look at examples of the animals I just showed you and they shy away from pastel but pastel is a key piece to a lot of cool combos you just gotta put together the right combos and you'll have some really nice looking adults so I'll show you we'll pull out some animals that are examples of that alright so showing some nicer animals with pastel um, I have a smoking lemon pastel desert ghost, but of course he's in shed, so I can't show him. But I'll show off this guy, which is pastel pied. Um, and essentially, the point I wanted to make showing this animal is most recessives. Uh, so we're looking at ultra male pied look. Uh, sorry, pastel tends to make look better and doesn't brown out looks awesome desert ghost doesn't brown out looks awesome in pied it does brown out a bit but I still think it looks awesome um, clown eh. 
it's debatable how good they look as adults, but in most um, recessives. Uh, Orange Ghost, another animal that Pastel was looking really good um, in as an adult. So in most recessives, Pastel was looking really, really good. Show you some more. So here you're looking at a phantom pastel yellow belly male. He's about eight, nine hundred grams. And again, not browning out. He's a little freaked out. Not browning out. And pastel makes this combo. If without the pastel, you're not getting that contrast and that richness of color. The black isn't going to look... How about you stay in the shot, buddy? When I'm trying to show you off. The black isn't going to look as black and as... as This animal is going to look as bold without pastel. So pastel is making this animal spectacular, in my opinion. So it's another example of just pastel making a lot of the dark morphs. A lot of dark morphs pastel works well in. So that's, that's just another example. So remember the Enchi pastel? I showed you a second ago and looked all dirty and it, here what this is is Enchi pastel um, fire and yellow belly. And now on this animal, a male breeder, it's about 700 grams. And there's still some browning going on and still some flecking, but it's significantly reduced. And in future generations, I'll add a couple genes I have in mind to add to even further reduce the pattern, but more importantly, further reduce that little bit of speckling that's going on in the animal. But a really nice animal, and again, a larger animal with pastel. Alright, um, last one, because now, just because I know you're filming, I'm just showing off now. But, um, <laughs> another example of an animal, larger animal, with pastel in it, which he wants to hide. And you're looking at, uh, Oh gosh, a lesser firefly. So <laughs> lesser pastel and fire. And you can see she's gorgeous. So this whole myth that pastel is a garbage gene and it only darkens out your animals as they grow and it you just gotta pair them with the right things and have the right combos. Pair it up with the right genes and you're making spectacular animals. Alright guys, so that was a little bit of an inside look at the crazy conversations we have in our house and a bit of a focus or, on the pastel gene. Hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, as always, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so, and there'll be a new video coming out shortly. Take care. Take care.